Hello YouTube and welcome to Z Drive for another episode of review of Fear the Walking Dead with me Zeech and um wow so we were correct about where Alicia was going it wasn't pretty that hard to figure out uh, so he went to her boyfriend's um and he's sick uh, and sick from a bite and um I believe Travis handled the handled Alicia pretty well in that situation where he kind of like was tending to the boyfriend to get her away from the boyfriend um uh, and, and and the mom she was kind of get away get away get, just get away um and and didn't explain anything to her at the time so she wouldn't understand why she's acting that way um so I thought that was really good with the the scene with the boyfriend but they learned that you know, it can possibly happen different ways. Um, this episode, like, it's the it's setting up. Okay, a bite can change. Possibly, they don't know definitely yet, but it makes you sick. Possibly, um, and they know when you die, you come back. So, but they and then um, they all finally get home. And this is a kind of question I have for you, the viewer. When do you tell your neighbors, or do you tell your neighbors um, about well, what you've seen and what's going on? Uh, probably depends how close you are with them, I guess. But uh, and when do you tell your family? Because out of the four people there, only three actually know what's going on. One is in the dark, doesn't know, and they haven't explained anything to her, and that's Alicia. And the whole time, like, all right, you need to tell her, even if she doesn't believe you. There's three of you telling her, so she may, she's, she seems like she's a smart person, so she might um, need to rationalize a little bit, and then she'll focus on it, believe you, or maybe, maybe not, but she'll know. So if she ever decides to run off, and then a situation, she won't be totally shocked, because um, someone did tell her, warn her about it. Um, but that was like the, my biggest thing about the episode because it it was definitely a theme of the episode, um, with her not knowing. But then we have Travis. He leaves off to go get his son Chris and uh, Lisa, uh, his uh, son's mother. Uh, but be but then after that, Madison. I'll touch base on that again. But Madison goes to the school to get drugs for um, Nick, which I thought was a good idea because of the um, they had the police at the school and the stuff they confiscate off the off the kids and stuff at the school and she so she checked the different lockers the police lockers for that and Tobias shows up, he's there to get food and he asked for his knife which I thought was kind of funny but um so we know what goes down with Madison and she has her um her moment where she has to take out the the principal, but um, do you guys think to Tobias is going to survive? Because he was all about saying a group, and he's not in a group, and he didn't want to go with uh, Madison. So, is do you think he was scratched or bit and thinks he's infected? Because he was knowledgeable, he has been obviously reading up stuff on the internet um, about it, so he was more knowledgeable than anyone else, and. Um, also, the school trip for Tobias was kind of for nothing. They didn't leave with any food. <laughs> it was like, you did all that, you went through all that, and you don't take any food with you. Um, so, wasted food run. All right, and then we get Madison back uh, home, and she's in shock. Uh, she's traumatized. She's trying to hold it together in front of uh, Nick and um, Alicia. But she she's traumatized and in shock, and I think at this point it's harder for her to even tell Alicia. Um, it would have been better to say it earlier. What's going on? Because if she saying it is saying it's true and realizing, but she's already kind of said that to Nick that it's, it's real. But um, I guess it's realizing it for herself completely. Um, what's going on? And then uh, Travis and Lisa, I believe that's her name, and Chris they're down in the city kind of in the middle of everything um 
and I like the relationship they're building with Travis and Lisa. Um, it's I, just it's a nice name. It's not like they hate each other. Um, it's it's just they have their boundaries and they're trying to go about the, raising their kid and having um, their uh, their type their family brought up, but also have their separate lives. Um, but I do like that Lisa notices Travis is in distress and she when she was giving him a hard time at first because she didn't know what was going on then she started to see and to see how he was reacting which Travis does not seem like a guy that's going to panic in most situations and he's still holding his, his cool pretty much I think um, so she saw that and so she decided to trust him like alright let's go get our kid and they go down to get their kid and um Chris doesn't really want to listen to his dad and uh, Lisa she sees what's going on like with the hazmat suits and stuff and she just knows that is wrong um, earlier when she first got home you did see the books in her hand they were she was a, she's a nursing student so um, she sees the hazmat and she sees all the stuff she's like something's not right listen to your dad let's get out of here um, so I thought that was a good dynamic you see them working together um, and not at odds as you would see in some other shows just because they're separated or whatever um, also uh, the last thing I wanted to point out was something that could have been like another I don't want to say foreshadowing but it was just funny this nice to see the uh, cop who's stocking up on water at the gas station and like um it was a call. It's like, okay, you know it's bad when the cop who's supposed to be protecting everyone is getting is preparing to get move out himself. Um, and then they actually show the number of the car. So I don't know if that's going to play a part later where somebody, a new group or somebody else we might meet, runs into the car. And when they're down on water or something, I don't know. It probably won't even matter, but uh, something that I noticed. But again, uh, I'm going to pose a question. When do you tell your family? So let's say it, it's you and, or it, you just know. When do you tell them? Or or it's a couple of you know and one of your family doesn't know. When do you tell that person? Like, do you try to keep it a secret for a long time? I mean, you're going to have to do things and it's going to seem weird. So when do you tell that person? But uh, if you like uh, my videos, uh, please subscribe uh, so you can get the updates. Uh, let me know if you like uh, what I'm doing here. If you want me to change format or whatever, leave comments. And um, give a thumbs up if everything's good. So I will be seeing you in the future. Peace.